Frankie J. Wren, personal trainer and choose to lose. This is what we're doing. This is workout. Today you're going to need a pair of light dumbbells and a mat and your body weight. So go warm up for about 10-15 minutes and then push play and let's begin. Alright, first one, side lunges. Grab yourself a pair of light dumbbells or just your fingertips, okay? You're going to take your legs wide and then even wider after that. Turn your little toes out so the knees and the toes trap in the same direction and push your bum rear and touch the ground and come back up. If you're just using fingertips, fingertips touch the ground. But what you want to feel is that bending knee, that hamstring and glute right back behind you there. Your score, we've got 15 reps. Here's five. I have to count out loud because I'm a trainer and we can't count. So if you leave it up to me, we could be doing this for the whole hour. So, see, I already lost one. <laughs> Let's call this nine. <laughs> Ten. Thirteen. Remember, knees tracking with that toe. Take a peek. One more on this side. Good job. Keep yourself squared to me, okay? Don't turn. Here we go. Ready? Other side. Push. One. Two. Knees tracking with the toe. Yes? Good. Hinging from that hip. All that stuff. Good stuff. Remember, form, then intensity, then you can add speed on top of that. But get the form first. We're on 10. Hopefully you are too. If not, keep going until you reach that 15 mark. It's the beautiful thing about digital. You can pause it. Two more. Last one. Good job, group. Okay, now you're going to grab your mat and you're going to give me a V-sit and reach. I love this exercise because it helps really open up the chest and rotate through the spine. It's going to feel really nice. All right, so if you remember my V-sit from previous workouts, you want to sit up tall like a puppet on a string. Lean back, abs engaged. Don't let them puff out. You want to pull them in. Lift the arm, legs up, sorry, and then the arms. Now from here, you're going to reach behind and tap right behind you. One. And other side. Two. Three. Four. Now you want to keep that neutral spine. Let your gaze go with your hand. That's going to make you twist more. And that's what I want you to do is twist and open everything up. Love this move. Good. See, lost count again. I just do 10 more. Here we go. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, keep those feet up. Four, you can do it. Three, two, one more. One, ha ha, love it, you guys did great. All right, jumping jacks now. We're gonna do those times, okay? Push your mat out of the way, jumping jack. Well, we've all done them as kids, let's try them now. Jump up and together. Now, balancing doesn't work for everybody, all right? I hear you. So keep doing the jumping jack. If you need to modify it, this is what you do. You step out and squat, step out and squat, out and squat. If there's one thing you get from me, hopefully, is you get to realize there are options. So long as you keep the body moving. And mobility is the worst thing you can do. We've got two legs, two arms, and a trunk for a reason, all right? They gotta move. So you choose, here we go. Got 30 seconds. By the way, I hope you put your phone on quiet too, so you don't get interrupted while you're doing this. Stash the kids in the closet, lock the door. Last three, two, one. Good job. All right. We got to train the upper back muscles now. We're going to take those light dumbbells and we're going to get into a standing position. Now, I'm going to go to the side so we can take a peek. I want you to hinge from the hip joint, all right? Almost like you're doing a downhill skier kind of move. But that lower lumbar is neutral, okay? So this is good. This is bad. I'm going to send you to physio. So tailbone up. Good. Arms in front. Chest lifted and fly. One. Two. This is an awesome posture exercise. It's going to give you also that nice cut look on the back of the shoulder. 
if you don't really care about posture, you'll relate well to having beautiful looking shoulders, I'm sure. We have 15, here we go, last 10, and 9, 8, make sure you're leaning far enough forward too, so gravity's coming down on the upper back, okay? If you're too upright, you won't hit that upper back area that I'm trying to hit. Two more, last one, and release, good, come on up, perfect. If that hurts your low back, you weren't engaging your abs, okay, so pull those abs in next round. All right, keep holding your dumbbells, forward alternating line. Step forward, line straight down, feet together. Step forward, straight down, feet together. Previous workouts, I've noticed, or I've noted that lunges can be a little stressful on some people's knees. The knees don't like this action, go into a squat, okay? The knees don't mind squats as much as lunges. Somewhere, sometimes that forward motion can really aggravate knee injuries or people with arthritis in the knees. So, here's your option. I don't know, what number are we on? <laughs> Just joking. We got five more each leg. Here's five. Make sure you get that back knee as low to the ground as you can. Two more each leg. Keep that posture drawn up as well. One more. And relate. Good job, Bert. Okay, grab your mat. You're going to go into a side plank now with a leg lift. You'll love it. So, take yourself right onto your side. Elbow underneath the shoulder, bottom knee on the ground. Pick your hip up, straighten your top leg. Here we go. Here's the beginning of the exercise. Now take that top leg and lift for one. And two. This is my star move. Three, four, five. And it's going to give you superstar looking hips. Six, I don't know, I just come up with this. <laughs> Eight, keep the hips up though. Nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. One, excellent, good job. Good news, one side down. Bad news, still one more to go. So elbow under the shoulder, knee on the ground, lift the hip up, top leg straight, let's go. Up for 15, one. Two, three, four, six. Good. Open up that chest. Can you feel your hips yet? I can. Uh huh. Five more. Here we go. Five, four. Try to get that leg up as high as you can. Three, two, last one. I ah, love it. All right. Mat off the side. And then guess what? Mountain climbers. Yep, my fave. So take yourself into a straight plank position. I like to have dumbbells on the ground because I like to keep my wrists neutral. Okay, so you can go either dumbbells on the ground or hands flat. Okay, whatever works for you. From this position, you're going to step around and tap. Remember, you're opening up the back hip, you're keeping the seat down, and you're trying to work into the core in addition to the lower body. Hands are right under the shoulders and keep those abs engaged. All right, this is no vacation for the abs. You're putting them to work today. Keep going. You have 30 seconds. Give it a try. 